Good afternoon, everybody. And today we are going to be looking at why Joe Biden won the 2020 presidential election. And we're looking at the map, which we didn't know um, which what the results were of the Rust Belt states of Wisconsin, Michigan, or Pennsylvania until a few minutes ago when they were finally called for Biden. Now, this should indicate that these states truly are moving more in the Republican direction, but it is a sign that the Democrats can still maintain their coalition that brought them to victory in 2008 and 2012. So why, why did Biden win rather than Donald Trump? Well, Trump's popularity, or lack thereof, as indicated by approval rating polls, seemed to be right on the spot and that he could never expand his electorate outside of his base and a few independents who hated the Democrats more. In addition, let's be honest, a pandemic plus a market crash is never a good sign for electability, especially when your top accomplishments out of the previous three years were all economic. And that's all you can focus on in the form of a positive campaign. Therefore, when Biden came in and said he can change things and he can get everything set, as well as handle racial tensions in the aftermath of the George Floyd killing and the riots that ensued, people trusted Biden. They trusted him in a way that a person trusts their senile grandfather. Sure, he makes mistakes. Sure, he makes gaffes. But it's in a lovable way. They were willing to ignore any problems. His long record in Congress of pushing things like the Brady crime bill. pushing the war on drugs, so on and so forth. And they were able to make inroads in the Southwest and the Deep South in the state of North Carolina. The Joe Biden campaign was able to take advantage of the lackluster polling from Donald Trump and maintain an edge. On election day, it wasn't nearly as much as the pollsters suggested it would be. He won by about six to seven points. However, they still, the Democrats still lost the states of Florida, Ohio, and Iowa, as well as Maine's 2nd Congressional District. These losses indicate that the GOP is strengthening their hold in those areas, despite the large national loss. They also failed to win Nebraska's second congressional district, which was a major, major campaign spot for Biden. It was extremely narrow. Overall, Biden won because Trump was hit with the perfect storm of events that would be viewed as bad for any independent voter to associate a president with. And whether or not those bad events are really at the feet of Donald Trump and whether or not he receives, deserves to receive the blame, doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is he did. Anyway, thank you all for watching this, uh, you know, mock um, review of what would a report summing up why Joe Biden won. Uh, might look like in November.
And I tried to choose a somewhat reasonable map, um, just to kind of highlight um, some of the things that might happen, um, and also kind of discuss, you know, that, yes, polls are, generally speaking, accurate, however, we also need to take them with a little bit of a grain of salt. Um, for example, Biden's polling average is, uh, by the way, check out 538. They finally have a polling average, uh, tab. I might link that at some point, but they have a polling average tab and Biden's has gone up by maybe a half percent, maybe seven tenths of a percent, whereas Trump's has fallen somewhat gradually over the past couple of weeks from, the mid to even, you know, from the mid 40s, about 46 ish percent down to about 42 percent, 42, 43 percent. This, in my opinion, is kind of an indication that if things are able to normalize, Trump's going to gain back the lost ground in the polls. Um, but anyway. On Friday, I'm going to do a hypothetical how Trump won the 2020 presidential election because I think that we'll also understand, we'll kind of lay out why I don't think this is, you know, 100% in the bag for Biden. I want to do Biden first just because, uh, you know, give the challenger first. They have their convention first for a reason, um, stuff like that. Anyway, if you like the content, likes, comments, subscriptions, they always do help. And um, I do have a Patreon for any who are interested. And uh, have a very nice day.